right, this is Lewis Lecca with Nuke the Fridge recovering the wheel of time. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome in the show. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Are you a fan of the books or do you know the series? Uh, look, I avoided the books because I, I want to be spoiler free, but that is actually one of my questions to you all. And I want to say uh, hello to uh, Daniel. You are one of my first massive interviews back in the day with Big Hero 6. So the circle is complete. Nice to see you again, brother. Good to see you. Um, and you were great back then, too. And here you're great. But as far as you two, you guys have great chemistry. Uh, um, uh, both of you have great chemistry. Uh, how did you guys accomplish that? Did you guys know each other before? Did you get together or, or to talk or how'd you, how'd you get that the chemistry on screen? We like each other. We I think like that each other helps. very much. That's helpful. Um, yeah. we are, we are attracted to each other as friends. Um, no, I, I, I talked to, we, we crossed paths at an event, uh, probably three, three and a half years ago. And I, I don't know if she felt it, but Daniel I, has a sort of spidey sense of these I, things. I, I he, felt he, something that day and I felt like I needed to talk to her. And I felt like I was I was going to work with her at some point, so it did feel a bit like destiny, to be honest. Right, we touched upon a little bit. I'm I'm, I'm so excited for the show because I love fantasy and stuff like this. So I'm all over the place. But we talked. To, you asked me about the book. When did you guys get uh, to see the book or read the book for the first time? When were you introduced? Well, I didn't know the books before I was cast. When I when I started to explore it, when there was the opportunity to meet Rafe and talk about maybe being Moraine, I I, I sort of got into it and, and obviously didn't read the whole thing before I spoke to him because mm -hmm. that would uh, be the task of a faster reader than me. But um, I, I quickly ascertained that this was a massive world mm -hmm. and that Amazon were very, very lucky to have this IP and that they really couldn't afford to, to fail with it. I just thought this is, this is, they must throw everything they've got at this because it's such an amazing world that it could be so brilliant if done correctly on TV. And, and you know, we're still learning. I'm not saying, oh, you know, we're, we're going to show everything we've got or be able to, you know, make everything as great as it can be in the first season. We hope we've done our best to do that. But, you know, I, I think it's something that's just so enormous that we'll learn about it and keep learning about it all the way through. It feels like we're in the Wheel of Time. Yeah, it does. It, it really does. does. It feels like our whole world's been the Wheel of Time for the last two years. It's actually pretty incredible when you're, you know, I think it will. We've all moved, haven't we? We've yeah. all moved country to, to actually come and live in the Czech Republic. And so we're all sort of slightly isolated from our, what yeah. we know. Yeah. yeah. The, the scenery and background is, is beautiful. Now um, the training you two underwent, I mean, for the battles and stuff and, and the ripped muscles and stuff, <laughs> how do you guys get, uh, get yeah, to thank that? Thank you for point? mentioning the ripped muscles. I worked really, really hard on those. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I trained for hours i i like i i'm glad it's like and wait till you see she like, was so see. demanding on set she was just screaming i need more push-ups <laughs> <laughs> uh no. we have an amazing no, Dan, 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 daniel's the one with the rip muscles i'm just <laughs> i've just got uh i've just got fireballs both of you are great let me tell you so don't don't understand me but yeah how'd you guys get uh, uh to train with that like how was that experience with the sword fighting and everything all the different type of stuff you guys go. Well, we're very lucky to have him because Daniel is is a master. Well, he probably wouldn't call himself a master. I, he's a master to my to my eyes, but he's an incredibly accomplished swordsman. And I think, you know, some people don't realize how lucky we are so that all that, there's no sort of camera trickery to make him look as fast and as deft and as agile as as, as, as Lan is. That's just all Daniel. And in a way, I think the camera can't capture how brilliant it was. Oh, really. Thanks. Uh, we have an amazing, amazing stunt team here in the Czech Republic, and uh, they they do a wonderful job at choreographing, uh, safely choreographing these scenes for us. And because I, we like to use real swords, and so it's just a, it's just repetition over and over. For that first scene was a month of practice, and then uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully it shows, but uh, it's it's all to the team here. It does show. Thank you, Wheel of Time. Check it out. Thanks for the interviews. Thank you. See you, you. soon again. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks so much.